Hey, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sharing with you guys both my face of the day and makeup that I'm wearing for the $20 makeup challenge video. I had recorded this video of me applying it, but of course I wasn't really too sure if you're supposed to record you guys, you know, us putting the makeup on. However, I went 40 seconds over and I'm not too confident it's going to upload. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and see me doing this, I'll, I'll go ahead and make an attempt to uh, upload it, and if it won't upload, I'll just redo it uh, on Friday morning. But I totally love this uh, look I've got going on. What what it is, is it's, it's a challenge. Uh, say you've got $20 uh, to spend on a full-fledged makeup uh, look, what would you use? And I got a little bit really excited because it was a different type of tag that I hadn't done, and it made me do my homework, think about what I could use. So. Now, I am going to have to keep my glasses on, for one, there's a, I, I try not to because there's a glare, but I cannot see, <laughs> but um, I totally love the way I did my eyeshadow. I feel like I finally, possibly, got the eyeshadow blending part down. I always feel like there's room for myself to improve, but I, can, I cannot, I sat here, I kid you not, five minutes, I was just so proud of myself going. That looks so pretty, and let me share with you the eye look. I don't want to brag on myself too early, or put the court, cart before the horse, as my mom would say. But I really like the way I did this. So, in the meantime, this video is going to be sharing share with you what I use, and to give you some alternatives. I know a lot of people, when they were doing this, they used all nothing but else, but I think I my goal was just trying to show you some alternatives that I have in my collection and to share with you what you might want to try. So some of the girls were using NYX round lipsticks and they said that they found them for a dollar, but I've never found them for a dollar. I always paid maybe four dollars a piece for them unless they were buying one get one half off at Ulta. But you know, anyway. And I'm leaving my pure band in my hair because I'm feeling a uh, Tinkerbell kind of day. So <laughs> um, anyway, hope you guys liked this video. Also, I need to know if the quality, the lighting is better. I did this video a while ago. I just recorded me babbling about something stupid and went back and looked at it. And it looked like the quality of my video, since I changed the lighting on my phone, the settings looked better. Uh, just let me know if you can see everything good. I don't know. Maybe I'm hoping it, it's turning out better uh, because the mirror I have behind you guys it's telling me it's looking better, so anyway, let me be quiet now. <laughs> um, the very first thing is I used was this is, and I meant to put everything back over here. Um, I used for moisturizer, and I use this stuff at night before I go to bed. I have it beside my uh, bedside table in a little, you know, cute little box that I have, and anyway. It's this uh, Beauty Drops Vitamin E Moisturizer. I I ca calculated this whole look would be about fifteen dollars, fifty nine cents uh, before tax. But of course, you can take away some of the stuff that I use. You don't have to use a face primer. Now, I definitely need a moisturizer because my face was super dry this morning. I'd forgotten to put this on before I went to bed last night. But I typically put it on before, and I found this for ninety nine cents at my local ninety nine cent store really awesome. I just got lazy last night. So I put that on and then of course I went and used uh, for my eyes. Let me go ahead and share with you. I used the ELF uh, $1 eyelid primer. I did not use my Too Faced eyeshadow insurance. I used this. this you know, I, I bragged about this. This is okay. I will use this when I run out of Too Faced, but you know, they and if you're uh, like, you know, short on cash and you need a decent uh, eyelid primer, this is okay. Okay. Then I went and used, um, I'm fine. My next Jumbo Pencil Milk. I try not to include this every time, but this is just my, um, my go-to product. So I use this as a base. Okay. This is $4. This and um, one other thing was probably the most expensive thing I used out of this entire look. So this is about $4. Uh, 
Uh, okay, the next thing I use. Now, I did turn to Elf for the eyeshadow, but I wanted to use something totally different. Um, and I'm not really sure if people were using this, but it's okay. You can use whatever the quad you want. This is the one in Butternut. And I put this color right here on the lid. I used. Now, I did not include the price of the brushes on this, so if you're wondering, I don't know, I had asked on Glamazon, and they said as long as you don't use expensive brushes, but it did not include the cost of the brushes, so keep that in mind. But I used the Elf eyeshadow, the C brush. And then for the crease, which was this color, I used this brush, uh, Elf Professional Eye Blending Eye Brush. My friend Amanda, she's got a channel, I think it's Little Girl 14401. She used this in the tutorial, and I forgot how much I love this brush, and I brought it out. And this is a dollar. This is uh, three dollars, in case you're wondering. Uh, and then for the brow, which I use just a lighter color. Right there. I just used one of my other favorite e.l.f. $1 brushes, the e.l.f. Professional Defining Eye Brush, the Slanted Brush, so yeah, use those. And then for my eyeliner, now I have one that I'm almost done with, uh, I have, let me explain. The Wet n Wild the color icon. This is an olive. I have one that's about from that's I don't know. Let's almost use it from here back. But I pulled this one out. These are about ninety nine cents. And but of course you can find them sometimes for sixty nine cents. So I thought that was a really good idea. There it is, right there at the top. And then I put that over the top and bottom lash line. Now this mascara I have grabbed to help, but I actually referred to it, uh, went back to it, and uh, I did not include my uh, Roma London because that would have totally put me over with my budget. The only one coat dollar mascara, I put it on two and it actually works better, so I'm actually probably going to use this up and I may repurchase it. I don't know. I don't regret sending Veronica the backup because she had been looking for it. But I did, it did remind me, hey, I like the, the rubber bristle brush. I'm sorry, I'm going all over the place. I'm, I had a whack today. Anyway, I applied that. Works really well. Um, and then for my face, now this is where you can omit this. Uh, this is the other second most expensive thing I use, the NYC Smooth Skin Perfecting Face Primer. Uh, this is about three fifty nine at most drugstores. I think that's the most. Ex I think that's the most I've seen it for. I did put it on right after the moisturizer soaked in, just so you know. So I put that on, and then I went to my Donna Michelle White Makeup Foundation. That's one dollar. Now I don't like the smell on this. I did figure that out. I do not like the smell on it. it smells nasty, but I did go to this because. Uh, I noticed several people were using the Rimmel one with the spatula, but I don't have that anymore, and I didn't, you know, I said, the heck with it. So, I did save some money with the foundation. Um, I, I'll show you another alternative I wanted to use, but it was probably going to put me over the, the limit. So, now, I did not put this on, but you can also include this. Uh, if you was to include this. It would still be within the $15 range, I guess. It would cost the Elf Tone Correcting Concealer. And then, right after that, of course, I went to my go-to powder, the LA Colors one. About a buck. And then, let's see, for my blush. Now, my blush, um, yeah. in the video, you'll see me grabbing my Ulta Big Fluffy Brush because I, I didn't pay attention to, hey, I put a little bit too much on, and I, I, I guess I scared myself, I don't know. But I went to the e.l.f. $1 blush in Glow. Maybe it was the color I chose. So I did that. And then, uh, for the lip products, um, 
I went to the LA Colors Lip Gloss Lipstick Combo. This is about a dollar. This one I'm wearing is in natural, and I had not worn this yet, so I thought it would be a good time as any to break it open. Now, you don't need to prime your lips with this. These are super moisturizing. They're actually almost too soft. So, there it is. And I have not put the lip gloss on, but you can totally get away with this. I mean, that's really good if you think about 50 cents for both. My only grab about these things is the packaging. They come off really easy. I think that's part of the reason why I don't use them as much, but they're decent. So, anyway, uh, let me share with you some alternatives. Again, you can... Uh, if you're doing this look, you can totally omit this uh, skin perfecting uh, primer. Um, with the foundation, I wanted to use the Rimmel Stay Matte uh, one with skin pin, uh, skin pure complex. Now, I wanted to include this. This was about six ninety nine when I sold it normally, but I got this uh, several tubes of these on clearance for about three fifty nine. And I didn't want that to be considered cheating, so I didn't omit this, but this would have been my first choice. Um, the lipstick should pick on any direction. One of my favorite ones, I almost wore this, but I went for the other one. Uh, this is uh, Wet n Wild number 525D. Whenever I wear this, um, several of you have to know what color it is. Love that color. Uh, you can totally wear Elf. Um, I have one. one the other one I was going to choose is Seductive. I don't think I love the the classy one, but every time I've gotten that one, it's always broken on me. But there's the other one. Or you can go. Ellie Colors has some really decent ones. This one's in satin. I bought this, and I'm still trying to figure out why I bought it because. I don't like the color, but, and I don't have too many of the lipsticks anyway because um, I've already got colors in them, but the ones I do have, I do enjoy. And then, of course, you can forget and want to see the dome ones. You can totally do this. This one's pink chiffon. This is one of those hard as heck to find colors, so. Uh, now, with the mascara, I saw a lot of people wearing this one, and I happened to dig it out of the one that I'm going to get rid of, but I wanted to show you really quickly the ELF, the, the lengthening, the fining. Now, I do not like this mascara. I actually hate this worse than, this is one of the least, if I had an ultimate crop product list, this would be one of them. For one, I did not like the formula, and number two, I hated the brush. The size of the brush is fine, it's just the, I prefer the rubber bristles. So a lot of people were using this. You can also use uh, NYC's um, mascara. They have some pretty decent ones, about 3 to $4. I'm going to show you another one. I don't recommend this one, but LA Colors has some okay ones. This one flakes off majorly. The LA Colors Double Fly Mascara, this is about a dollar. So, yeah. Anyway, um, that's my Facebook. Like I said, if you guys want to see me put uh, this entire look together, let me know and I'll get it uploaded today. I happen to be off. Um, I'm putting my applications in and trying to see what I can find out there. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm going to now film a tag video that a friend of mine texted me. And so, talk to you guys later. Bye.